Hey guys, welcome back for another update from Houston. We got a new Weather Wars 101 video here. I really haven't got into it and picked it apart yet, but you can see on the screen right now uh, the different places in Houston and just offshore uh, where the rapid evaporation water injection is going to refuel the storm. Weather Wars 101 has claims that he has op observations of three different moisture injections into the storm to keep it going. And if you've been following along with this series, we know that something's up with this storm. It, it's not natural. So while these images are playing, I'm going to read the updates that I have from Houston. Because we only had a one short one yesterday, and we know that uh, we know that everyone in Houston has got their plate full. Just wanted to check in and say thanks for the thoughts and comments along the way, everyone. We miraculously never did lose power, so that alone was a huge deal. Even just mentally, it was an absolute surreal nightmare that felt like it would never end. Really just lucky to be alive with pretty severe but minimal damages. This certainly was a life-changing disaster, but we made it out alive, and it actually did come to a point several times where that was certainly a huge question mark. I can post a more detailed update soon as I'd like to discuss the tie-in with the eclipse. Whether or not you can ever prove that or not, it's interesting. I just haven't been able to do much work online. Talk soon. In his second update, there was a bunch of comments about him not losing power. So he says, it was downright amazing we didn't lose power. As it had been announced, it would actually be turned off more than once by two different power companies. If interested, if you have a smartphone, you can download an app called Zello. That's spelled with a Z, E-L-L-O, kind of like Jello, but with a Z. And you can hear all of the radio communication between these guys out on the boats doing rescues. Just search the channels, Harvey, Houston, Katie, etc. They're reporting on the ground live, and they're saying that these two huge levees, reservoirs, just burst within the past half hour. News isn't reporting it yet, and might not, because, like in Katrina, it's a political issue. The water is going to go where it's going to go. This flooding is apparently going to worsen in large areas and peak on Friday. And if you're following along on a different date, Today is Wednesday, August 30th, 2017, and we're about 9 o'clock Pacific Time. This was posted at, well, it says 1.30 a.m. I'm guessing that's Eastern Time. Um, I don't know if that really makes sense. I'm not sure <laughs> which time zone that is. I haven't figured out how this particular post codes their timestamps. But these guys have said they're only going out in groups of four boats at a time for security purposes, as they've had some shootings. City police and fire have had the same. It's ongoing for sure. So I wanted to find out if I could find anything on these two dams or levees that apparently just broke. Uh, I have a feeling that this post is, is pretty recent, uh, regardless of not being able to decode the timestamp. And when I just go into a YouTube search engine, you know, I've searched DuckDuckGo and Google uh, for anything, and I haven't found anything recent yet. So when I search for Hurricane Harvey Dams Levees Break, and I just scan through this first page, Really, the newest is about a day ago. Uh, they got some three days, four days, some two days. Here's one that's 11 hours old. That's an interesting title. I'll probably have to check that out. But, but there's nothing recent from today on the first page that's sorted by quote-unquote relevance. So I'm going to sort this by upload date. And we see that even though there's something that's 11 hours old on the relevance page, all we're getting is two search returns here. 
Uh, and I find this suspect considering that apparently you can go on the Zello, this app, and and hear this live reporting. So that's the update from Houston. Thank you all so much for putting your positive intent, your love, and your <laughs> just your universal prayers out there for all the people in and around Hurricane Harvey. I love you guys a lot. If you have any love lighter links in this matter, you can send them to me, lunacy at protonmail.com, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. We'll be back in another one shortly. Good night.